Great morning. Hello, everyone. Raji, be nice to your brother. <laughs> Raj. Raj is the older one. He, uh, in the morning, when the food gets put out, he, he'll growl at Max. <laughs> he say, it's my food first. And Max just like, whatever. Okay. Anyway, this morning, um, I wanted to say, excuse me, have a little of my coffee this morning. Um, there's a new article out about Muji in the Deccan uh, paper from India. So I will put the URL the link to that so you can read it for yourself once again just stating everything that was stated yesterday that it's become a cult now some of the things that he's he's not a realized master now before you jump down my throat say, I need to sit with him, whatever, you know, I'm already, you know, realization took place here in 1999. The mind stilled in the Turiyatita, it remains like that for here. No thought, no, just that stillness, moan, that inner quiet, okay, remains. Now, when you listen to what Muji says, there was somebody that sent a link. Number one, he doesn't know a thing about Kundalini. He's supposed to be uh, in the lineage of Ramana. Even though Ramana really doesn't have a lineage, he was not uh, a guru. But um, if you are a realized master, you are in Advaita you'll be saying the same exact things as Ramana. There will be no variance, no difference. Well, there is a variance and a difference in what Muji says. Now, if you watch and look at what Ramana said, you looked at what Muji says, they are not one in the same. Okay, they're not. A realized master, when they speak of Advaita, they don't have to close their eyes so that they disappear. <laughs> I noticed that with Muji. Every time he starts talking about the absolute and the is, he closes his eyes. He closes his eyes. Why? Is the world of duality distracting your your? ideation about what it is okay Ramana said that Kundalini journey awakening is needed for realization Okay. He actually says that it is important without Kundalini having been awakened, you will not enter realization. Now, when you get Muji over here, that's supposed to be a proponent of Ramana, doesn't know a thing about Kundalini, laughs it off. has no inkling of what it is, then he is far as from night to day. Okay. Another thing that Muji does, and that so many of the satsang sellers do, which no realized master does, is this technique, it's a hypnosis technique Look it up if you don't believe me. Hypnosis techniques, verbal techniques, 
is to speak in a very slow, metered way. in a quiet voice. The one that really uses that technique a lot is Eckhart Tolle. Tolle. Don't be the words. Be the space between the words. <laughs> they'll, they'll elongate that lasting Another one that uses that technique is Nichinanda. He's always like a snake <laughs> in his words. Another technique that's a hypnosis technique that Nichinanda uses all the time is realize, realize, realize. He says it over and over and over over and over. He'll repeat things numerous, numerous times. He uses that well-modulated tone of voice droning on and on and on. He also has them use those drums to shock the system. All of these are hypnosis techniques. Techniques. A genuine guru doesn't need to use hypnosis techniques. Neither do genuine gurus encourage guru worship, as does Muji now. They don't, you know, have people set them up as an idol, okay? Bending down, kissing your feet. That's an egoist, okay? Genuine masters, Ramana, Nisargadatta, Krishnamurti, and not, I'm not talking about the, the Krishnamurti, the one that's so obnoxiously nasty. He is by no means a realized being. Okay. Kabir, all of these realized masters, none will talk in a very metered voice. Oh, the absolute, there's no one. You're only that. There's nowhere to go. Kundalini? <laughs> My dear, I'm so beyond that. <laughs> child's play, child's play. No, Ramana did not say it was child's play. Okay. He said it is much needed. There will be a kundalini awakening and completion to get to realization. 100% he stated that. So for these satsang sellers that are supposed to be connected with Ramana, yet they know nothing, their words do not match Ramana, if you want to know if it's a genuine guru that's in realization, your words will match Ramana's. Your words will match Ramana's. Okay? That's the way that works. There's only one realization. One. Singular. If there's a variance of that, then they've had an experience, like Muji likes to say. An experience. Muji has had an experience. Muji talks about, you know, the, uh, the ego becomes very thin. <laughs> very thin? 
know, the ego implodes, dissolves. It doesn't become thin. Okay. So he continues to uh, support his ego. It becomes thin. No, it, it dissolves, it implodes within realization. You don't become one with. He says you become one with. There is no one with. If there's one with, then you're still in duality. Then you are experiencing a very low level of that first heart opening still. Okay? Oneness is sort of like one. It's not one. It's sort of like. It's an imitation of it. Okay? There is no ness in realization. It's not oneness, sort of like. It's the zero. It dissolves, it implodes into that great is. And the only thing that has ever existed is that great is. And you were a fabrication of a story wrapped around a form. Okay. That's realization. It's not like this satsang seller that, that, oh, the thoughts are still there, but you just don't pay attention to them. There are no thoughts in Turiyatita. Again, if it's somebody, they, they experience something, a falling away, and they come back and the mind is going again, then they're not a fully realized being. They may be able to talk about an experience, but that's not moksha that is not a liberated being okay a liberated being does not create a place where you have people come to and bow down and worship you where you're having sex here and sex there and doing all these things okay taking people away from their families. A genuine guru wants people to stand on their own. This is why I never put into place a heavy physical ashram, because you have to do your path where you are at. You have to be in the midst of where you are at in society for it to be true liberation. not some manufactured thing that's done with hypnosis and other techniques. Okay. Again, cautionary thing, and I have said this so many times, if you want to know if they are a genuine guru, read Ramana. If they are saying they are teaching the path of Advaita, <clears throat> then check with a genuine, realized, recognized master such as Ramana. And a genuine, realized master, Ramana's words and their words will be the same. There will be no divergence in that. There will not be any divergence in that. Because again, there's only one realization. When all falls away and deconstructs, it's a singular experience. It's a singular is. It's a singular consciousness. I don't want to say experience because it's not something that a persona is experiencing with your five senses. It's so beyond that. And when realization comes and everything deconstructs, you don't need to close your eyes to access. <laughs> close your eyes, oh, there's no me. No world, there's just that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
none of those games need to be done or trying to sit there and talk in a dream state please so I just wanted to leave this here I'm going to again put that um, URL in the description so that you can read what is being said about Muji by people that were there, that were people that were around, that saw it uh, degrade into a cult. Okay. People that know me, they know I have no tolerance for these fake gurus that are out for name and fame, that are putting people in bondage. Genuine gurus want to see people come out of bondage. They want to see them move forward in their lives. They want to see them get to moksha, to liberation, not to chain them to you. This is why, again, I also stopped having retreats. Because people need to stand on their own, do their path walk their way they cannot sit and depend on a guru and do guru worship it is not going to aid them what i am you are and that is what you need to discover what i am you are what that divine is is what gives you life and breath the ability to think, the ability to cognize that all of that comes from that divine is. And if you did not have that divine is within you, you could have no consciousness. There would be no life. So you can never be separated from it. Okay. It's always ever present. One comes to that point where there is silence in the midst of sound. There is stillness in the midst of action. Always. It's not something that you need to close your eyes to find. That's a manufactured experience. Okay. So enjoy your experience, Muji, but there is further to go. And if you're going to say you are a student of Ramana, that you're from that lineage, and you want to claim to be a realized master, then you should know what the realized master is actually saying, because it's not what Muji is saying. One hundred percent not. What Muji says is not even close to what genuine realization, the being of moksha, is living in this living consciousness that's lost these occlusions that were covering. Okay. Those occlusions are gone. Advaita is not something you can study and learn. No amount of Advaita speak is going to be liberating. You may be fool yourself for a time. You may be generating a manufactured experience because the mind's very good at that for a time but that will fade 
then you need the genuine path, the genuine way to realization. Okay. And remember this, while Ramana did not speak a lot about Kundalini, he did say without a genuine Kundalini awakening, there is no realization. End of story. So I'm going to leave this here. I hope everyone's having a wonderful Monday. Thanks for tuning in. And thank you for your questions. And please go forward in your path no matter where you're at. Have a great day. Namaste and aho.